let's start with blazing vortex. This is going to be the very first upload of X. As we go, we'll definitely be adjusting lighting and all of that fun stuff. Digital bug registrator. It's available to bonk. Spriggan's Pador. Armed Dragon Blast. You know, camera ain't too bad. It's beautiful foil. Reinforcement of the Army's troops. Icy Breeze Refrain. Archfiend Staff of Despair. Virtual World Gate. Yep, nope, not gonna read that one. A secret to start. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we still got to figure out all the cables and everything. Spring Booty, Verona Guardian Sphinx, Starry Night CL. Oh, Okay, got an ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray. Yeah. <laughs> you and AI. Uh, that's going to be a topic for a while. AI. Or Rock Mahmood. DDD Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. All right, do another Lightning Overdrive. Oh, I can't wait to do all this editing. I haven't done any editing in so long. Oh, high school. Was it 2001 or 2002 that I was taking? That videography. Right. CW Draconic Halberd. Fusion Candescence, Mahmoud again, Sun Avalon Daphne. Yeah. Sun Avalon just got hit not too long ago on the ban list. Mm -hmm. I started collecting first way back in 2002. 2003, and well, I sold my collection a long time ago. Boy, boy, do I miss it. Flash Fusion, Rivalry of Warlords, Pink Kids of Bow Wow Bark, Last Hope of Nephthys, Kids Place. Beautiful secrets. Dama, Dawn of Majesty. It's actually one of the first sets that I bought when I started getting back into the video. I believe it has some branded cards in here, if I'm not mistaken. I got a place here, Buckle the Door, Doom's Bear, Alien Stealth Buster. Dragon Monarch, Perrin, I Ritual Art. Eventually, I'll get prices up and everything. That we're going to figure out one day at a time. I'm just happy I got two cameras and the headset working. We're going to getting music in here. That'll be really nice. I just gotta get all of the DMCA free, royalty free music. I'm gonna need a much better computer with an external hard drive. I forgot how much space videos take up. I could try doing an 
to the League of Legends recording. Boy, I think it was like 18, I remember it was like 18 or 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, it was, it was at least a few gigs already. And I'm not maxing out all of my settings to try and get the absolute best. I'm trying to go for what is not going to make my poor, poor old computer just explode. So I've been rocking this baby for, oh God, way too long. But this is where we get it started. Metal Raiders, one of the OG sets. Actually, the first time I quit collecting was 2006, 2006, 2007, I believe, is when I stopped playing in tournaments and going to locals and being a degenerate gravity bind player. At the time, I had a hell of a collection. I had the what is it? Like two and a half full Exodia sets, the original God cards, the first edition Jinzo, like everything I had was first edition because that was the edition. It was only first editions at that point. There was no unlimited or anything like that. And man, oh, back then you can get a full set of first edition LOB. Exodia for a hundred dollars. <laughs> I remember seeing it in the Wizards price guide, and we were just like, "Wow, that's so expensive as a kid." And you know, it was. But now I look and I go, "Man, if I had that, those full sets of Exodia, and, oh, I think I priced it out. I think it was a Ruxin video." That I was watching, and he was basically pricing out what would have been almost the exact copy card for card of my old collection. And I did the math, and I think it was 2017, 2014, 2017. That collection would have been somewhere around $200,000. And so, well, boy, that made me sick for about a week or two. And then I decided to get back into collecting again. And here we are. It is such a joy. I have forgotten how much I love the dopamine response from getting that beautiful, rare card, shiny foils. So, if you like shiny cardboard like I do, welcome to the channel. We will be opening tons and tons of beautiful, shiny cardboard, whether it be worth two cents. $2,000. We'll be opening up a lot of Yu Gi Oh! Mostly Yu Gi Oh! Uh, but we will also be doing stuff like uh, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon. I don't know if I'll ever do One Piece or anything like that, but definitely the big three for me. We're gonna, what do I want to open up last? I think I'm going to open up Paris Serving this because. Jinzo. Jinzo was actually one of my favorite, favorite, favorite parts. And it just, it, it, it gives me such great joy to see that bad boy. And every time Ruxin pulls it, you know, in, in his channels, you know, for this one, we're going to do one, two, three. You know what, these three to be safe, I can't remember. Ruxin, part of the pack. What are we coming for you, boys? pretty soon we'll start doing pack battles can't wait to see the kind of community i grow you guys are going to be awesome i just know it gui community especially the box of being community are fantastic people they're tons of fun very generous and you know we all love beautiful shiny cardboard ah so the pack trick worked nice 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 beautiful celtic guardian once i figure out all the prices and post editing and stuff like that i will definitely start doing all of that probably somewhere over here 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 oh god look at these nails oh no 
Oh, girls. Oh, girls at work. Y'all got some work to do. Yaddy? Told you, you're going to be my nail girl. Oh, yes. So I work with my family and my soul, my mother and my aunt, the nominal stylist and nail techs. I love doing hair. It is uh, one of my favorite things to do in this world. It is a beautiful thing. I have amazing clients. I do absolutely beautiful, beautiful work. I love making reds. I love fantasy color. If you want rainbow hair, you want purples, blues, greens, beautiful reds, and you live in Texas, feel free to look me up at the studio in Hutto and uh, come meet my family. We'd love to have you. We would love to take care of you. Right. Nothing on that fair servant. Come on, Tins, over yet. I wonder how much I'm going to cut out and post it. Oh. Hmm. Really need to figure get this lighting under control, too. But you know, first start, that's not too bad. Urban, light of intervention. God, I remember opening these packs up after the locals. Back then, though, you didn't get a rare and a foil. I believe it was just one of the other. Oh, vampire baby. I need to find my things. I'm pretty sure they're in my pouch and my car. But, oh, snap. I might as well You know, for some random cards, <laughs> not too bad on the foils. I love I don't remember. I tried to use this in a deck way back then to not so good effect. But it's a fun card. Gotta love the anime cards. Oh my god. And that's the sad part. You know, when I when I dipped out of Yu-Gi-Oh! and collecting as a whole, not only did I leave the world of collecting, but I also stopped watching. The anime. I'll tell you what. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, uh, got back when got back in with Arc V, way, way, way out of order. And uh, what do we got here? Mystic Tomato. Oh, absolutely nothing. Rising Lark, Gun of Snail. Flash of Sandwich, Chain Energy. This, this was actually a very fun, annoying card. We got another. You know, I'm, some, I'm sure somebody these days will still find a really, really, really good, uh, annoying way to use it. But you know, considering this is only normal summon, not so much. So for the Supers, we got Magical Hats, beautiful Celtic Garden, Guardian. <laughs> Celtic Garden wouldn't be too bad either. Uh, Wild Nature's Release in ZW, Dragonic Halberd for Supers. And I'll probably, after every video, do a recap of, of the things that we have here. Do you need to get a better stand? Be Trooper Sting Lancer. I wish we weren't. Hello, Utopia Ray. I'm pretty sure I have a starter deck version of this, maybe. Kids place. We even got a couple of secrets out of these. Beautiful, beautiful individual packs. Well, that is going to be.